Hi guys, welcome to Hop and Learn with Afrim. So, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and share and like it. So, today we are going to uh, learn about the DCN important questions. That is data communication and networks. So, I have given total 5 units important question. In this video, I will highlight those important questions which can come in the examination. So, let's get into the video. So, from the unit 1, okay, from the unit 1, the first important question is, explain, so see here, explain, Okay, this first question I'll highlight this one okay okay explain about various OSI model layers this is the important question so this can be come for total 15 or 8 marks total 15 or 8 marks okay explain about the various osi reference model explain various refer osi reference model and next discuss the discuss about the following protocol and standards discuss about the following protocols and standard so unit one five questions are most important this any one can any two of questions or four of questions can come into the examination so the second question is discuss about the following protocol and standard next third question explain about tcp and uh, ip reference model explain tcp or ip reference model so next fourth question is compare OSI model okay compare OSI reference model we need to compare this OSI reference model and this TCP IP reference model if you learn OSI and TCP IP reference uh, this question this first question and third question fourth question is easy for you so compare OSI reference model and TCP IP reference model okay next write in detail what write in detail about ieee 802.11 system architecture write in detail about ieee 802.11 system architecture so from first unit total questions are five these five questions are most important so according to JNTU H pattern from first unit you will get 30 marks question so these are the five important question which can come in the examination so explain about the various OSI reference model layer next second question is discuss about the following protocol and standard next explain TCP IP reference model fourth one compare OSI reference model and TCP IP reference model write in detail 802.11 system architecture so these are the important questions from first unit so total three units you need to prepare from out of five units i'll give total five units important question your wish which you want to prepare it so this is from first unit next from second unit explain the ethernet format with neat sketch so first question is we need to explain the ethernet format with neat sketch next discuss or we need to define what is switches and discuss about the switches okay define switches and discuss about the switches next this third question is important okay what is this define error we need to define error what are the two types of error explain them define error what are the two types of error explain them this fourth question on also important we need to write a short note on this following so write a short note on the following what are those following redundancy detection versus correction forward error correction versus retransmission 
redundancy, detection versus correction, forward error correction versus retransmission. Next. Okay. Fifth question. Define error detection and various error detection techniques. This is also an important question. Okay. Define error detection and various error detection techniques. Define error detection and various error detection techniques. So, this question I'll highlight because this already repeated one. Explain CRC method of error detection method. CRC method. In error detection method, we need to explain this CRC separately. This is 2A or 2B anything. So, from this part of this question, you will get two questions. And next part of the question, you will get two questions. See here. Define random. These all are most important questions only from unit 2. Okay. So, see here. Define random access method. What? Define. We need to define random access method. List the different random access protocol. And we need to list the different random access protocol. Okay. Next question. Eighth question. What is Aloha? Describe the features and its merits of Aloha. This is uh, repeated in regular examination. What is Aloha? Describe the features and merits of Aloha protocol. Explain in detail about various protocol of Aloha. This is also as So in this we have to pure and impure. They last, uh, last time they have asked about pure. So you need to uh, prepare this one. Explain detail about various protocol of Aloha. Next. Define channelization. Explain FDMA, TDMA and CDMA channelization protocol. From that they ask FDMA mostly. Define channelization. Explain FDMA, TDMA and CDMA channelization protocol. Next, discuss about frame format of 802.11. Discuss frame format of 802.11. What is this 802.11 frame format? This also they have asked previously. So, total 11 questions from second unit. In that 11 question, 10 questions are important. They may ask any four of these. Okay. Next. Unit 3. First question. Write the short notes on output processing. Queuing. In this, most important is queuing. They may ask this separately or in between this. So, you need to prepare. So, write a short notes on following. Output processing. Queuing. Routing control panel. Routing control panel. Second question. What is internet protocol? What is IP? This is also a question they may ask you. Okay. What is IP? So, what are two important components of IP? Next. Discuss about the diagram format of IP. Okay. Discuss about the diagram format of IP. IP. Next. These two questions are also important. Discuss brief about IPv4 address. What? Discuss brief about IPv4 address. This they have asked in regular examination. Write a short notes on ICMP. This also they have asked. So discuss brief about IPv4 address. Write a short notes on ICMP. Okay. Next. Compare. We need to compare. This is also important. Compare IPv6 and IPv4. And we need to write advantages. So, in from third unit, we have total six important questions. Both six are important. Next. From unit four. Discuss service responsibilities of transport layer. Okay, you need to discuss service or responsibilities of transport layer. This is important. Okay, 
next explain the relationship between network and transport layer explain the relationship between network and transport layer next write a notes on multiplexing and demultiplexing these all are important these eight questions okay explain the multiplexing and demultiplexing next what is udp list its feature and explain its header okay what is udp list its feature and explain its header define udp checksum and discuss the operation of udp define udp checksum and discuss the operation of udp explain three way hand shaking protocol here three way hand shaking protocol uh, that to establish transport level connection okay next explain three way connection trans here hand shaking here connection transmission don't confuse in this so explain three ways connection transmission in tcp using state transition diagram okay next discuss congestion control in traditional tcp discuss congestion control in tradition tcp here totally eight questions you have in those seven questions are most important from unit 4 now from unit 5 discuss about ftp detailing about ftp you need to write discuss in detail about ftp write a short notes on ftp command and replies we need to short notes next this is also in, they are asking regular exam these all questions so discuss the working of mail email in detail how email works okay next fourth question write a short notes on smtp write a short notes on smtp okay compare smtp with http compare H smtp with http next this is also an important question write the two main categories of dns message and we need to explain it so totally six questions you have from unit 5 so these are the important questions of dc and examination i hope you prepare well for the examination because it is on 24th so thank you and if you like my video please subscribe my channel share it and like it if you have any doubts comment below thank you